Wow, I can't wait to play my favorite game, Sandbox. Let's play it. What? That's right, everything is broken right now in Sandbox. The other day was the day of pain. They completely remade the player entity, so now it's a regular entity instead of a special player entity. I'm not really a programmer, so I don't know the exact details. Every game mode has to be updated, and most of them aren't yet. Sandbox is updated though. So what they did is they turned the player entity into just a regular entity instead of being a special player entity. That opens up a lot of opportunities. The player is no longer tied to the client. So you can do things like having multiple clients control the same player. You can switch players between clients, or you can just not have the client have a player at all. They made a cheat sheet. They're calling this the player pawn system. Here we can see a list of all the old functions and their rough equivalents in the new system. Also there's info. This doesn't mean a whole lot to me because I'm not really a programmer. Although I am making the death run game mode, which I'm gonna have to update. They also added the V2 citizen model. It looks almost the same, but all the bones have been reworked and I'm pretty sure the model was remade from scratch. The animations are still being worked on. They're a little strange right now. It looks like they fixed the head turning. Previously your neck would get really skinny. The walk animation isn't quite synced to your walk speed yet. Looks a little better when you're running. This is the future of gaming right here. They changed the crouch animation so your head position actually represents where your eyes are. Previously your head would be two feet above where your eyes were when you were crouching. Now it's in roughly the right spot. All the animations are a little bit different. It looks a lot better than it did a couple days ago. A couple days ago, the animations were totally broken. Also, this model breaks all the custom clothes that people have made. Oh, it looks like they made the player actually aim where they're aiming. Yesterday, the player wouldn't aim in third person where he was actually aiming. Since we're already here on Construct, let's take a look at the updates to it. So this room looks the same, so there's a lighting issue here. There are too many index lights in this room, so we get the blocky shadows. What's over here? Here's the dark room now. Looks like it was moved. It's a lot bigger too, but I don't like the bright doorways. I think there should be a wall blocking the light. It came out over here. Let's go in here. There's no more door here. I think that was where the dark room was at. Also, there's not a room over here at all either. This map changes every time I look at it. So we have the dark room, we have this big room. Oh, we have a white room now too. Where does this come out? The white room is in this building now. I wonder if we can color it. So this room, the color tool. No, I can't use the color tool on it yet. The point of this room is to be colorable, so you can color it green for your green screen. What's over here? There are no other rooms. There's a little forest area in place of the apartment building. Let's see if the water works yet. Nope. They still have to add water other than the ocean. Here's a little forest area. So there's currently an issue with transparent materials and they will lag your game a lot. So I'm getting 30 frames per second right now inside this little tiny forest because of how many transparent materials there are. Looks like we have a little fishing hut, some lights. That's it, that's all of Construct right now. There was more work on the voxel system. Here we have a video of it. Very immersive. If you look on the frame rate counter, you're getting over 100 frames per second on this huge voxel world while creating a bunch of blocks. That's crazy. They created a white player start model, so you can tint it and you can make it whatever color you want. This is useful for making custom spawn points for your game modes. As you can see in my death run map here, I tinted this one red, so you know it's where the death spawns. The player spawn in the regular orange player starts. Unfortunately, death run doesn't work right now because I haven't updated it to use the new player pawn system. The other day I live streamed and I made this big forest map. I made this map entirely on stream in one day. It took me nine hours. So currently this map is pitch black with a few candles hidden around. 
So there's no candle model or fire particles yet. So what I did is I took a pile of soda cans and I gave it a laminated wooden floor material and it looks kind of like candles. This map is for the Slender Man game mode that Marky is working on. That's the new game mode. It's not just a direct recreation of Slender Man. It's going to be its own game mode with unique objectives. The core game though is players collecting pages and the Slender Man hunting down the players. There will be multiple players on their map trying to collect their pages and one player will be the Slender Man hunting them down. This map is going to be so scary in the game mode and with proper sound effects. Also, we can see the grass and the leaves on the trees. They don't have any transparency. That's because as we saw in Construct, transparency is broken right now and it's super laggy. When I had transparency on for the leaves and trees, my frame rate was about 20. And now I'm getting about 80 while recording. So this map has a road, it has a couple buildings, I'm not going to spoil them, and it has this big bridge going over a lake. I'm going to be making a lot more sandbox maps for people's game modes. If you have any maps that you'd want to see made, let me know and I might make it. I also worked on my bounty map a little bit more. I added a couple of buildings and I expanded the river a bit. That's it, that's all of the sandbox news. If you want to see more sandbox content, subscribe to the channel. Next week I'm going to be putting out a video on my forest map. I'm going to do a time lapse of me making the map and I'm going to explain the process behind making it in one day. Also you can join the sandbox modding discord server or the official sandbox server. The official one can be a little messy sometimes though. That's it. Like, comment, and subscribe.